Hey guys, Jameson Wood of Wood Creative Group, back here with another tutorial today. Today we're going to be exploring Google's new video conferencing platform, Google Meet. So Google Meet uh, is a new video conferencing platform that Google has released through Gmail, and it's located on the left side of your Gmail. You will see there's a little new tab here, and you can start or join a meeting in progress. So today we're going to go through starting a meeting. So here's the interface that you'll see when you join a meeting. There's my face. You'll have to ensure using the lock up at the left that you're allowing access to the camera and mic microphone for your computer. That will allow your face and your voice to appear on Google Meet. You'll see here that the account that's being used on Google Meet, and it's a really pretty simple and easy to use interface. You'll see here that there's actually a whole list of other phone numbers to call from other countries to join the meeting, which is pretty cool. This is my first time also going through the pl platform. Um, you can see here that as other video conferencing platforms, you can call them using another phone. So you can dial in, right, or you can have it call you. And then you can remember the number for next time as well, which is a pretty handy thing. As well as you can share your screen and present, but we'll get to that a little bit later. First, we're just going to join. You'll see here it's giving me information to add others. I can uh, copy the joining info to my clipboard there, or I can add people uh, through email, or I can call them, it seems, as well. So now here's the interface. You'll see in the bottom left there's meeting details. You can copy the joining info again the mic and the video settings as well as closed captioning. I've tested this out while um, recording this video and it really picks up your voice in real time and actually works. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I did not expect that at all. As long as you speak slow and clearly it will uh, closed caption your video. Um, you can see up top here that there's a couple other items. Um, you can see how many people are in the meeting, some settings, and the chat, as well as the three dots. Here's where you can change the layout of the people in your meeting, for the sidebar, a tiled view, or a spotlight, um, or an auto. Also within these options, you'll see we can go full screen, we can turn on the captions. Inside the settings is where you can affect different settings for your audio and your video. as well as change the resolution that you're sending out and that you're receiving. Finally, you're able to share your screen or present. You can do a Chrome tab, a window, or your entire screen. You just need to select your screen and hit share. This will put you in present mode and will clearly indicate that you're presenting to everyone, so be cautious. And you can go through your presentation or whatever you're doing, and you'll see a notification at the top right that you're sharing to everyone as you're doing this. And you go through whatever presentation you need to go through. Now when you go back to your tab, you can simply click Stop Presenting, and it'll go back to your face. There's the mug. So you can end the call very easily. Rejoin, return to home screen, or rate the call. Here's the uh, kind of the home screen of Google Meet. Up here, you'll see again the settings, the gear icon. Here's for troubleshooting and uh, describing issues with quality in video and sound, as well as reporting and sending feedback. Seems that they want you to include a screenshot here. So Google is still rolling out this platform as COVID-19 restrictions are still in place so it's still going to be coming uh, much better as we go along through the situation thanks so much guys hope this was helpful